Oh boy, we're back with more Pajama Sam Lost and Found. This is just such a nifty game, wouldn't you say? And we're off to the new world! Hello there, Mr. Forklift. Hi. Could you help me find my stuff? Sure. Oh hey! It's the forklift from uh, Pajama Sam Thunder and Lightning Aren't So Frightening. That's interesting. Oh wow. He's, he controls a little bit differently. He's big and he sinks like a brick. This is a great. This is great! <laughs> I forgot about the forklift. Okay, that's apparently an obstacle. I couldn't tell because it blends in with all the other stuff on the floor and in the background. It's gonna be one of those levels. Is that it? Oh, okay, I see. Excuse me, I, I kept saying... Do the spin, and he just kept doing short hops. <laughs> Didn't you trespass at the World Wide Weber building? Does this game take... This game obviously must take place canonically after Thunder and Lightning. Otherwise, he wouldn't know who the forklift is. <laughs> hey, X, dude, awesome, welcome. <laughs> I'm making plans for the next weekday series. I'm also trying to make plans for what I still don't know what I'm let's playing. Because everything I try just isn't working out. Wait, was that... That was the whole... Wow! That level, you could just be invincible for the whole thing. That's great. <laughs> Woohoo! I love the Easter egg you can do in Pajama Sam 2, where if you, if you use the debug menu and get uh, Foster Boondoggle's ID card or whoever the ID card is, and then show it to Bill Gate, you'll get a separate cutscene where he's like, hey, I've got the ID card, I'm an employee, can I? Can you let me in? And you actually get, like, different dialogue, which is funny. Ouch! That's rude. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to use the spin in this world. I can't, I can't... Oh, I love that sound effect, though. Okay, I literally got hit by nothing there. Okay, you can't take out the enemies with the spin, I guess. I'm proud of you, Sam. Man, now I'm so paranoid. This guy is, is like twice the size of the other things that we've been riding. So I'm very paranoid about like <laughs> when stuff's just gonna pop out out of nowhere. Okay, that should be the end of the level. I like the background. We're back in the Weber factory. I love Pajama Sam too. Honestly, all three of the Pajama Sam Jr. Adventure games were really good. I think the first one's still my favorite, but the other two were amazing as well. So imaginative. Oh boy! The forklift is flying! <laughs> this is something you don't see every day at your company now, is it? <laughs> what do you mean the fourth one? There are only three! <laughs> I'd also, I will be playing the fourth one eventually for my channel, but if it's, it's not good. It, it is the worst humongous entertainment game. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, Water Worries is actually a better game than that. But Water Worries also takes longer, so... Although I would say, Pajama Sam 4, the trading cards were the best collectible. They were better than the socks, the puzzle pieces, and the box tops. Because they give you lore on Pajama Man. But everything else about the game is Garbo. <laughs> Who's spilling oil everywhere? Do you know how valuable that is these days? What? 
Excuse me. I appreciate you trying to give me a hand, but not like that. How the heck are you supposed to get past that? Okay, can you spin into him? No? But what the, what the heck? <laughs> How are we supposed to get past this? <laughs> okay, we must have to... Oof. That's so stupid, you have to be hugging the right side of the screen, and who knows what could come out afterwards. I think this game would benefit from a larger screen size. It feels like I'm playing, uh, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog on the Game Boy Advance. I think the other issue with Pajamas M4 is that the world you explore is basically, like, the Land of Darkness, but worse. Like, each of the free Pajama Sam games had, like, really creative worlds that you explored. And then the fourth one's just like, well, this isn't original, but here you go. Invincible Forklift! <laughs> Why are there robots here in worldwide weather? Wow, that oil slick has a massive hitbox. It's just like everything else in this game. I do like it when the junior arcade games give you a throwback to the actual games. It's one of the things that I liked a lot about uh, Balloonorama. Even though Balloonorama was way too long and got very boring, I liked getting to see the throwbacks, where it's like, oh my gosh, we're in, like, the cave from Papa Joy's the Parade where we found Pep. Oh man, we're at Fatty Bear's house! <laughs> Fatty Bear's house was the best world. It just went on for 120 levels, when it probably should have stopped at, like, 50. Like, I don't think we needed to go to all different parts of the Cartoon Zoo in that game. I know Popa Saves the Zoo just came out after before that, but wow, that's not fair. I hate these obstacles. Yikes! Who's leaving all this stuff just lying around? Oh wait, that was Pajama Sam. That's literally the whole point of the game. Uh, why can't I skip this? Oh, now I can. Oh, I, I agree. I, you'll notice that it was it precisely when Atari bought Humongous Entertainment that the quality of the Humongous Entertainment game started going downhill. I don't think that's a mere coincidence. Um, thanks, Construction Cone. It is very hard to see what is foreground, what is background, and what's what stuff that's actually, like, obstacles you need to avoid. Because it all has the same level of detail. <laughs> wait, wait, Atar Atari Thanos snapped half of the Hewagas Entertainment Company? I actually didn't know that. Oh, that's kind of sad. Humongous Entertainment were the best at making the kids' edutainment games. Eh, I'll own the learning company. But here's the thing. Learning company... M made... Oh, shoot. Learning company made a lot of games where it's like, Oh yeah, these are these are great kids' games. Humongous Entertainment game games oftentimes, it's like, Yeah, they're great kids' games, but the grown-ups will also enjoy it as well. Which, that's the key to making a really good kids' game. It's not just for kids. I think I missed something back there. Wait, I did? Oh, that's what happens when you, uh... Miss something, I guess. Okay, wait, what, what did I miss? Oh, there was a basketball hidden behind a pipe. Interesting. I, 
Like, guys, I might be getting better at this game, because I haven't had a game over yet. Oh my gosh, I love it when I can fly while invincible. When you can fly and are invincible, it's like perfect gameplay. Okay, where's the glue? Where's the glue? Oh, there it is. Where's the lamb sauce? Shadow Streak, interesting. Might have to check that out in the future. Can we go through this whole world without dying? Or not without dying, without having a game over. I said spin. Just as a reminder, I have to use the keyboard to use the spin attack, and the mouse to move and jump. So this is quite an interesting setup I have. <laughs> That's apparently an obstacle. Wow, that is not nice. I mean, layoffs, I, I get it. Sometimes layoffs have to happen, but I feel like there's maybe a better way to do it. <laughs> that sounds like, There were two lists, Charlie Brown. One to fire, one not to fire. You must have been on the wrong list. <laughs> hey, hey. I don't mind if people have a potty mouth. I just mind if... I just mind if I have a potty mouth, or if people on my family-friendly stream slash videos have a potty mouth. That's apparently not a spinning. Oh, so it's just like a surprise! You're all fired! Merry Christmas! At this point, I'm just playing the game of <laughs> what is an obstacle I need to destroy and what can I just pass through. Okay, gears, I remember. This, it's kind of trial and error, just being like, okay, I remember the gears were an obstacle. I remember the lunch boxes were an obstacle. That's why I generally try to keep my language in tune with the game that I am playing. If I'm playing a T-rated game... I may sometimes slip into more T-rated language. Rarely, but I do, and I allow Twitch chat and YouTube chat to do the same. Whereas, yeah, if I'm if I'm playing backyard baseball, I don't want people cussing up a storm. Or even cussing up a cloud. There's just not really much need for it. Plus, it's much more fun to be more creative with the insults. Whee! Sam, why did you lose all of your stuff in the Weber factory? I feel like this should have come up at Pajama Sam 2. Oh good, we found our ant farm. <laughs> I don't know what the worldwide Weber building was doing with my ant farm, but here we go. That's it. Okay, that's apparently part of the uh, background. We did it. Woo! Do 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 do. Level seventy four. I picked up a bonus. I do believe this is giving us the high score <laughs> overall. <gasps> I'd be surprised if this wasn't the number one high score. Whoa! Hey! Ouch! Well, okay. If those guys come out of nowhere, then fine. Yeah, I have I have not gotten a game over this stream yet. Okay, the f the arms on the forklift don't count as part of the hitbox, which I guess that's pretty nice. So I think technically the forklift is the same size as the other vehicles. It's just a graphical change. Wee! I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. 
Yeah! This is peak commentary, just me going, Yeah! Wee! We did it! <laughs> There's a Freddy Fish game for the DS? <laughs> I can confidently say I did not. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, was that the Freddy Fish, like, ABC game? I've, I've heard of such a game. Never played it. Honestly, it's hard enough for me to admit that the Wii ports of Humongous Entertainment games exist. Don't you hate it when you learn to fly, but then you touch oil, and then it's like, oh, now I can't. Oh, look, the spin didn't work. All right, we're looking. We're looking for a lot of different sports balls. We need a baseball, a basketball, and a football. This is, must be a long level. Where is all the stuff? Wow, yeah, this is just a long level. Wow! The one stop- um... I think I have Pajama Sam's one stop fun shop on- Ouch! No! Oh, no. I grabbed... I tried to jump, and I grabbed the edge of the window, and it made me resize it. Great. No, that wasn't even the high score. Brain still beat me. Okay, then we'll be the Bran. Actually... Hmm. What was... What was the name I was going to put before people suggested the Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goofy! <laughs> yup. <laughs> Shucks! I almost got the high score in Pajama Sam Lost and Found! <laughs> what the heck? Level 75 is insanely long. Oh hey, we're gonna finish Backyard Baseball and Pajama Sam Lost and Found this week. That's pretty fun. Who made level 75 this small? It's way too long. Oh, I love it when the spin doesn't work. Yeah, it's, it's a good it's a good vein that it saves which password you use last. Why did why is the spin now so temperamental? My current theory is you need to be spinning for a decent amount of time before you actually touch the vein you want to hit. But like I was spinning for plenty. Like, look at this. We've been on the level for over a minute now, and we still haven't even gotten the second of four things. Ow! Okay, I hate those guys. A lot. <laughs> this hitbox is on the whole screen! Okay, there was nothing I could have done there. The game forced me into that. Why is this game so... Why is this level so long? You get the hat immediately, then you gotta play for like two full minutes before you get the next thing.
That is a terrible position for the flight power-up. It's on the oil slick, so you're just, you're gonna lose it instantly. I have to imagine speedruns of this game, you would just have to memorize the whole level in advance. Forklift is not very fast, even if you're at the very edge of the screen. Let's see, yoink! Even when you're flying, you can't go. What the heck? How stupid. There we go. Wow, I died at the very end like three times. <laughs> well, that was something that like most humongous entertainment games did, where it's like you want to you want to print out this funny thing that you made. It's like no, no, I don't. <laughs> Well, that's literally the only thing you can do. Ouch. <laughs> hey, Beta, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, we're on level 16 of the Weber factory. I have never made it this far before or seen this much of the game before. This means who are we... What are we going to ride in for the final world? Don't actually answer that. All right. Four levels left. Ouch! That's not very nice. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on, man. Learn to fly! I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. Where's my teddy bear? There's Snuggles. Ouch. There's old stuffed bear. <laughs> Someone was venting. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's pretty sus. <laughs> I hope Among Us memes never get old. Oh yeah, my dad... Uh, my dad's getting pretty into running, and he actually ran a half marathon earlier this year. And we, like, me and my family, we showed up to, like, kind of cheer him on when he finished. There were some people... I don't think they were running a half marathon, but they were running, like, a 5k as the Among Us characters, which was kind of funny. They also finished, like, really quickly, and I accused them of venting. It was fantastic. I mean, it was like right around Halloween time, so a lot of people were dressing up there. <laughs> Ouch. Who keeps spilling these oil cans everywhere? Yeah, it was one of those Halloween-themed races, so a lot of people were dressing up like different things. N not many people who were running the half marathon were dressing up, though, because, well, I don't think anybody wants to be running in a full bodysuit for, like, 16 miles. Or, like, 13 miles, I think. Because a full marathon is like 24 and a half or 20... I, I can't remember how much is in a full marathon. It's it's way more than I could ever run. I'm more of a walking man myself. To go that much of a distance, it would take me the whole day. With snack breaks along the way. Oh boy, my dump truck. Ow! Oh, I hate those enemies! <laughs> Good as me, I hate these enemies. 
golly gosh. Like, you just have to know they're coming, basically. Because they do not give you enough time to react, unless you, like, happen to be at the back of the screen. But who goes at the back of the screen? I'm a very important man, I got things to do. Uh, 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 uh. Oh boy! <laughs> Got all you can't see the ceiling. I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. We did it. Um, I'm not opposed to hiking. I don't really do it often, but if I'm in like. If I'm in a position that where it's like, I'm like, this is ideal hiking. Then, like, sure. This level's faster than the others. Like, the screen is scrolling faster on this level than it was on the others. Oh no, I touched a cone and I die. Hiking's one of those fans where I'm like, I'm not sure if it would be better to hike alone or with people. I generally prefer doing outdoor stuff alone. That way people don't judge me for my extreme lack of athletic ability. Wow. Love how whenever you get the flight power up, the first thing the game does is suck you right into the ground. That's really, really kind of you. Wait a second, this is the freaking same level again. This is the freaking same lo really long level that we did last time, but this time it's faster. Alright. Well, let's do our one bonus level of the game. We did the whack-a-mole. We've done this. Let's do this one again. Catch the items as they fall for extra points. After you lose five, the game's over. Why are we getting so many... Oh no, it is it is just 50 points. It's splitting off into like five different sets of 50, so I'm like, wait. Is that giving me like 250 points per one? No, it's not. Gotta love the mouse controls. Jamison, how much stuff do you have? Well, you don't have a yo-yo anymore. Sorry about that. I feel like we should have gotten all your stuff by this point. So you've got a lot of piggy banks. That's a, that's a lot of muns! You got, you got enough muns here to get, pay for Temmie's college. Chaw. A chaw. The heck? Okay, yeah. It's literally like it just warps to the ground. It's crazy. Uh oh. No! What's the password? Funny! Oh, so basically not me. I love it. I love it. No bonus for me. Okay, well, does this mean I have to intentionally die in the next world? Oh. Uh. I didn't mean to do that. Ha ha, that's funny, Garf! We're gonna sneak peek at what the last world is like. And as we intentionally die. Some missing things. Could you help me find them? It would be my pleasure, Mr. Sam. Hang on! Who's this other self insert OC character? Trigger the wagon? This is not canon to Pajama Sam. <laughs> oh, sorry, Pajama Sam. Last World's a city, though. That could be pretty cool. Alright, we got Brand. Oh, man! 
get the next high score. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Donald doesn't fit. Don't add. <laughs> How about Doa Duck? <laughs> no, we, we gotta go Don't add. <laughs> We got Brain Goofy and Donad. <laughs> it's supposed to be Donad! <laughs> of course it is, Donad. <laughs> Dobby, Dino, Steve, Sand, Scoob, Kane, Tim, Donad, Goofy, Brain. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we will always remember Donad's legendary <laughs> save in Pajama Sam's Lost and Found. Alright, well, we now just have the final 20 levels of the game left. I assume it's only 100 levels. People would never lie. People would never lie to me on the internet. I, I believe this wholeheartedly. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. So, yeah, Wednesday, I think we'll do Game 2 of the World Series, as well as maybe finish up Lost and Found, and then we finish the World Series on Friday. Both of these will happen at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so definitely tune in for that. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.